Nearly a quarter of Hispanics say they have trouble accessing health care. For Latino-founded firms trying to address health disparities, getting access to capital can be a challenge. Bertha Coombs joins us right now with a look at a health tech firm that's trying to bridge those gaps. Hi, Bertha. Hey, Becky. Oi Health launched a bilingual telehealth program in Puerto Rico four years ago to help low-income patients get affordable care and access to medication, whether they're insured or not. Now, the startup has expanded to major markets like Texas and Miami, partnering with hospitals like Mayo Clinic and other clinics to offer bilingual telemedicine and continuing treatment for program for conditions like diabetes and heart disease. But getting funding early on was a challenge. Pre-pandemic, this was a really interesting space, but everybody would tell us, oh yeah, Mario, that's great, but we're gonna be there in about two years. Pandemic actually changed the whole dynamic, not only for the patient and the providers, because all of a sudden, something that was a little bit esoteric became commonplace. It did, but before that, you know, getting capital for companies like his from venture and private equity is pretty uncommon for Latino tech firms. According to Crunchbase, Latinos have gotten less than 2% of funding since 2015, even as total dollar amounts have more than doubled since then. Access is often about relationships, and at venture firms, Hispanics make up less than 10% of the workforce and less than 5% of the investment deciders, according to Deloitte. OI has managed to tap into a couple of Latino uh, venture capitalists, but again, Becky, it can be like finding a needle in a haystack. How does that apparent limited access to capital impact a company like OI Health's ability to grow its business? For them, it's been all right. They have gotten a capital from a Latino firm. They've actually made an acquisition to try to bring in some in-person care in the home. But for a lot of these companies, it is tough. And in fact, the AMA, the American Medical Association, is looking at that. And that's one of the things that they want to tackle in order to tackle health disparities. They want to make sure that companies of people of color are getting funding and that also some of these telehealth programs and virtual care programs are also culturally suited. That's one of the things that they feel is often missing right now. Bertha, thank you. Great to see you.